Hi everyone, welcome to another RPA tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to talk about a new version of Automation Anywhere, which is A2019. So A2019 is a recently launched by Automation Anywhere. So this is like a totally web-based application. So we are going to discuss and I will show you uh, how this A2019 looks like. So before start, uh, those who are visiting this channel first time, I would request you to kindly subscribe this channel and click on the bell icon button so you can get the notification of my upcoming videos. Okay. And if you're looking for RPA project support, development, or a complete training, you can get in touch with us via our mail ID, which is rpa.developers1 at the red gmail.com. Okay. Now let's start. So today in this uh, demo or the video, we are going to discuss about this agenda first we will talk about automation in your a2019 and how it is different from the previous version and the one of the good thing is like automation anywhere is giving the trial version which is the community edition for this a2019 so in case if you're interested to explore it or you want to learn it you can go ahead and download this a2019 community edition so i will describe how you can go ahead and get these details and I will also uh, demonstrate how you can create a sample code using A2019. Okay. Okay. So first, in case if you want to get this version, what you have to do, you have to go to the Google and in Google, you have to type automation anywhere community edition. So once you open, you will get this type of page. So here you have to fill your required details, your name, email address, phone number and the company okay so after filling the details you'll get the link provided by the automation anyway and another good thing about this community is like you know if you want to learn automation anywhere in more details so you can go ahead and access their rpa courses from the automation anywhere university and also in case if you have any help or support if you're looking for you can go ahead and open this a people so a people is nothing but a rp community there you can post your queries so people like developer or architect from automation anywhere or from any other company so a people in any anyone can join and they can post your questions you can also provide the solution of the questions okay so as i have already filled these details and i got the uh, trial uh, or the community edition of this uh, 2019 so i'm not going to fill these details anyway i will put this link in the description section of this video so you can go ahead and use this link to get the community edition okay so after filling the details the automation anywhere team will send you an email like this so here in this email they will provide you the control room link so basically 2019 is purely a web-based application so you have to access from here okay so let me describe you about some more uh, it's like what is a2019 so a2019 is a purely web-based cloud ready rpa platform which provide you highly automated customer customized ui for each user it includes powerful ai which is accessible accessible to all the users as i said like it is a purely web-based applications hence no need to install anything in your system apart from bot agent so bot agent is a small file which you have to install in a system where you want to use a2019 so how it is different from the previous version of automation anywhere right so so previous version of automation anywhere you have to install the bot creator bot runner and the control room right so that that is like you know a lengthy process you have to take like uh, you know you should have like uh, require uh, a system available so you can install your bot runner and bot creator however in this version of a2019 no need to install or create bot runner bot creator by installing the application files here so everything going to happen by a web web page okay okay so now let me go to the automation anywhere a2019 so as i have the link and the username i already got the password also so after clicking here 
if you click that link it will ask you to put your username and the password after putting the details it will open this page so here you can see like this is my user id so i logged in with my mail id right so this is the page it's it's like a a2019 it looks like a control room of the like automation in your 11 version right but if you see here in this this page we have other informations like create a bot launch iq bots open bot insight etc etc so by using this a2019 you can create a task bot you can create a iq bots and you can also use bot insight to get like you know analytical data okay so so this looks very interesting and like uh, it's very easy now so anyone can go ahead and use this uh, like you know the link which is provided by the automation anywhere and you can start the developing your bots okay so before going to uh, the in more details okay so let me show you what are the information available in my left hand side so if you click on the dashboard you can see that these are the details which is available like how many tasks you have created okay the most used action okay so this will give you the overview of your activities which you are doing in a2019 okay the now next is if i click on the activity you can see the in in progress so in case if any bot is running so you can see that status here in the this activity uh, progress and the historical pro historical will give you the uh, details where you have run your previous bots okay now let me come to the bots so under bot section you can see we have three information sub sub information available is like my bots credentials and the packages so now in a2019 so we got the concept of packages so packages is nothing but a collection of actions so here you can develop your own packages that can you can use or upgrade individually here in a2019 so this is the one of the new future future which automation anywhere included in this a2019 right so if you click on my bots it will take you a page where you can see all your developed bot so these are the bots which i have developed here so by default you can see the details are available the bot name okay and the status size of the bot and the modified by these are the basic details which you can see from here okay once you click on the credential so here now we have the access to create your own credential you can create your locker so you can manage your credential from this page okay so i'm not going into more details in upcoming videos i will show you how you can create credential how you can use the locker and how you can raise a credential request as well okay now let me click on the packages so by default automation anywhere is providing you all the packages okay which you can see from this tab okay apart from this let's say you have a requirement of separate let's say you have something uh, a requirement which is not available here in these packages so in in a2019 you can go ahead and create your own customized package which you, you can use from here okay so as this is a community edition we we don't have options to add packages okay but if you use the enterprise version so there you will get a options like you can add packages modify packages okay so this, those options will be available with the enterprise version however here they have added almost everything which we need to create a bot okay so now device section is like nothing but a device where you are running your automation anywhere a2019 the administration is only like you can create the user okay now let me go to the home okay okay so now if you want to create a bot so what you have to do here you have to click on this create a bot so once you click on this create bot it will ask you to fill the details so put your bot name so i'm putting like a2019 underscore demo so this is the folder path if you want you can select your folder where you want to keep this file 
let me click on create and edit so as soon as you click on create and edit it will open a automation anywhere designer page so this is the page where we can develop our bot so now you can see in my left hand side we have all the commands available so now we can call these commands as a package right because we saw in bots we have the packages available so packages is nothing but it's like analyze is a one package under i have the command called close and open right so these are the packages which is available in my action area and one of the most changes automation anywhere done in this a2019 is we can see our commands in a flow 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 wise if you want to see the list so it will be list or if you want to see the list as well as flow that also you can get okay okay the command part they have added so many new features so here if you see like dll okay so earlier version we used to uh, use dll by using the meta bot now if you want to use or run a dll which we can run directly from here no need to go to the meta bot to run the dll functions so similarly they have added so many things okay so if you see the other things like you know in, in the variable they have added so many informations so so let's let let me click on the variable so let's say if you want to create a new variable so here you can see earlier we had like four types of variable now we have they have added like string number date time boolean files list dictionary record etc etc so now we have all the required options available here in automation anywhere a2019 which will help and make your life easier and it will be now very easy to develop a bot and we can do it like very faster so we have all the commands available apart from that they have provided some new new commands which will help you to complete your required actions if you check the sap commands in earlier version what we used to do we used to do sap automation either using the sap script or keystrokes or the meta bot however in this version they have added the separate command for the sap so in case if you want to automate the sap you can do it from here so we have all the informations available to work with the sap so uh, in upcoming session we will uh, look into it in details i will create a sap automation video also so now let me create a sample video okay so let's say i want to use a message box to display some message okay so i am going to select this message box and i have to drag and drop here okay so now you can see in my right hand side so message box property got open okay so here i am just putting a value hello world okay now i want to close this after 5 seconds okay after putting this i have to click on apply so once you click on apply it will save this command now to run this command you have to click on this save also so after this it will save your code in the system okay it will take like you know 10 to 15 seconds to save this okay now my code is ready to run okay before running the code let me show you something so if i click on list you can see my message box is here okay and this is the start and this is the end point okay if i click on the dual you can see this is a flow as well as the list view of the command which i have placed here and here you can see like we have the debug we have the analyze okay we have almost everything available here in a2019 which will help you to develop your bot very fast okay so let me quickly run this so i will explain you some more information okay so once you click on run it will check your system settings so the system settings is nothing but here it will check the dependencies whether the package is available or your system is having that that like you know bot agent file installed or not your extension of automation anywhere is there or not so you can see like automation anywhere extension is there so initially first time bot will verify everything and it will create a connections between your uh, web-based application along with your system where you are running your bot 
once everything will be checked and connected then your bot will start running so on the installation for this a2019 is a bot agent file which is a very small file you have to run that and after that your uh, bot should run from this web based application so let's wait for some time it is checking and the downloading the dependencies okay once it will down it will display the message box So now you can see here the bot started running right so as soon as run so now you can see this is the message box hello world and it is closing in the five second only so as soon as bot runs successfully it will display this window so this ui got changed and looks very smart very nice and very attractive right so 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 this is like you know very interesting to me i found very interesting and like you know this is very good in terms of uh, the development because we got most of the commands which which were missing from like you know the previous version so you can if you want you can uh, use this automation anywhere commands to do like you know text to speech you can see here we we have the options like ibm watson so we will discuss in this uh, all the commands in more details okay in upcoming videos so in this video like i just tried to cover about this automation anywhere a 2019 overview okay in my upcoming videos i will create some uh, some projects which will help you to understand in more details so i hope you like this video and find uh, this video helpful to understand this a 2019 which is a new version of automation anywhere in case if you have any questions or any suggestions you can go ahead and mail me in this uh, mail id which is rpa.developer1 at gmail.com and don't forget to share this video with your friends or the person who is looking for rpa uh, you know learning or they want to learn rpa okay thank you so much for watching this video thank you